What's going on, guys, and welcome to Tech Tonica, a game that I've been interested in, in for some months now. And yes, it is finally here. We've been given the first set of keys. And thank you again, Tech Tonica, for sending me this key. And I'm looking forward to playing it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So now, guys, what is Tectonica? Tectonica is a new factory automation game based in a cave that is all voxel-based. So yes, we can manipulate the terrain. And yes, there's conveyor belts, there is ores, and there's all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get in this and let's start a brand new game. Okay, so we're in some form of like little bunker and we've just been informed we need to leave this. So, first of all, we can see some hot boys. And, oh, I can inspect this from over here. Hello. Um, so, we've got some copper frames, electronic components, copper ingots, and iron ingots. And as you can tell by up, up at the top, this is a very early alpha. So, take everything with, like, a little grain of salt. And, obviously, um, things are uh, due, to, due to change. And we will see bugs. The UI might change. Everything might change, you know. So... We've just grabbed some supplies, and we are out of power. Door unpowered. I need to power this. How do I power you? Do I just go up here? Hydraulic failure detected. Okay, so we come in, in a medical chamber. There is going to be a full story as well. So... Crank generator. Power production is 64 kilowatts, and we just need five copper frames and 10 electronic components. So let's make one of these. And how do I do that? Oh, it's just built. Um, okay, cool. So now we've got... Oh, my God. That's kind of a big boy. Can I rotate this? I can, just by hitting R. We can see with the inputs and outputs and that it is very, very much of a placeholder on the side. It's like we've got some cheese wheels. Uh, and we need to just place this and power it. So I'm just going to place this here. Like that. Yep. Hold to deconstruct. Crank generator inspect. Activate crank. Power usage is not being done yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's all based on the flooring. I forgot about that. So, yeah, as you can see, this whole thing is just basically a chessboard right now. So, like I said, very early alpha. Um, what's going on here? Hello. Oh, boy. Groundbreaker, you are a sight for very sore eyes. Groundbreaker. I can't on your voice or ID signal, but I'm going to assume you work for me. We wouldn't get much done if we tried it the other way around. Let's go. Okay, so this is Sparks, and we can kind of see some conveyor belts here, good old conveyor belts, with the grabbers as well, and we've got a blue grabber, oh, that's a long inserter, so we've got short inserters and long inserters, shift to sprint, got it, so I did, I did have like a good old 30 minutes with uh, the community managers, and they kind of showed me around uh, a few months back, and show me some work on the game. And uh, I think this was the bit they showed. Oh, yeah, look at down there. We can see, like, the, 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 the miners going into the wall. We can see the glisten. I'm guessing that's iron. And then these look like storage containers, like big, massive chests. Okay, security clearance. Inspe oh, hello. So now we've got a pickaxe. Voice authorization. Voice authorization. Bravo Delta 1. Oh, thanks, Spark. The amount of time you spend on this job talking to doors, I swear. Voice authorization required. Additional Bam! Liner. Let Exit me through. So, yeah, we can see, like Access I said, verified. all voxel-based. We can manipulate the terrain, which is going to be super cool. Oh, my God, the bioluminescence. Surveying environment. Your first priority is to inspect that production terminal and start building a factory. Until we hear otherwise, the job is the job. The job is the job. Terminal upgrades provide tech to help build factories, and factories produce the goods required to upgrade the terminals. Okay. One hand washes the other. Upgrading the terminal should also help us fix the radio on it. Maybe we can get a distress call out. 
So this is the first starting base. Oh, we can see some iron there in the in in the wall. And like I said, there's all this bioluminescent stuff, and then we've got this. Please service repair required. So missing resources are required. Uh, iron ore is 100, and copper, which is iron. So is this something like the space elevator? Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try digging out enough ore with your pickaxe to craft one. Oh, okay. You want Once me to do it manually? You drills going. You should be able to dump enough ore into this thing to see if self repair okay. can do. So the I can rest. scan that. I put it together in the first place, so the least I can do is be optimistic. Okay, so now I just need to stand here and grab some iron. <laughs> if you want to give your shoulder a rest, try building a mining drill or two, and you'll want them at both the iron veins and the copper ones. Wait, I can build a mining drill? Oh my god, I can. We can see it down here crafting, so it's kind of doing what it needs to. Doing. Oh, that makes it so much easier. We're going to have to apologize. My voice has gone. Like, this past month has been absolutely insane. Yes, I have brought out merchandise. Uh, I went to TwitchCon uh, in Amsterdam, and things have been pretty, pretty crazy. So, yeah, uh, for them, I'll, if you want to check out the merch, I'll put a link in the description. Head over there and uh, see what you think. And uh, let me know if you purchase any, because I will be putting it... Uh, well, if you do purchase something, I will get a notification, and I will send you a personalized video. That's pretty cool. Right, so let's place this miner down. And it does seem it automatically attaches to the wall. So we're going to put this, like, right there. Okay, so it gets fueled with plant matter. So biomass. We put it in... Oh, okay, we put it in here manually. So I need to get some biomass. Do I, can I just grab it from here? Can I just grab some of this? Or do I need to grab some of these... Uh, this stuff here? Gather. Here we go. So yeah, we've got to grab these, like, bioluminescent plants. Is this actually... Oh, it's good. It is eliminating the light in this area as well, which is interesting. Okay, I've got 542. That should be more than enough. I don't know how fast things are going to actually go down here. Uh, fill a mining drill and collect five. Uh, okay, let's just throw you in there. Uh, is this only going to consume what, one at a time? Uh, let's find out. 499 in and it does okay so that that looks like it takes some time there's maybe about 10 seconds for each one <clears throat> so we'll, we'll take note of that now that we've got that we've got iron being done in there so let's make a, another one and let's find some copper for this uh so we've got some iron there uh oh there's copper right here and quite a lot of biomass as well. I'm just going to call it goddamn biomass. I think I think most people are. Let's put that there. Inspect. Throw you in there. Let's just add you to it as well. And now we're getting some copper as well. Cool beans. Okay, let's grab the copper. And then also the iron. And again, apologies. My voice is in uh, agony right now. Uh, but yes, I have... I took a COVID test. I have, uh, I am negative, so it's not that. I think I've just got a really bad throat from all the speaking. Uh, and it, and if I did see you in TwitchCon, uh, it was so humble to meet you, um, especially because obviously it was, it, it was insane. It was insane. Um, but I'll talk about that more on stream. And if you want to check that, check the link in the description. You can uh, come over and hear all about it. So I'm just gonna put this in there, this in there, right? Repair terminal. Bam. Uh, now we're gonna put 300 in. Oof. So we've got to put 300 iron ingots and 300 copper ingots Making in here. Many ingots is going to require an automated facility. Mining drills and smelters connected by conveyor belts and inserters. Okay. Belts and inserters have been unlocked in your tech tree automatically. Nice. With smelters, you will need to do a little scanning. So now we've got conveyor belts, we've got inserters, and we've got utilities. Base building, we don't have any form of... Uh, like constructors at the minute, do we? Okay, so let's just like make a couple of conveyor belts, make a couple of inserters, and a couple of storage. Oh, I've just found the technology tree. 
Interesting. Basic logistics. Lima. Victor. Victor. There's two Victors. Three Victors. I'm trying to figure out what we need to do for these. I'm guessing this is what we unlock via the uh, this big machine, right? I'm guessing we unlock more stuff through that. But let's get some conveyor belts down here. So we're going to rotate this like this. Can I bring this down here as well? Or... Wait, rotate. Aha, there we go. So I want to put these straight into a storage bin. So let's just put like that there. And that's our first convey. Did these make us move as well? Oh, they don't. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big boy. Okay, so let's just put like a storage there because that's a big boy. And do I need to put a conveyor belt in there or do I need to grab you? Which I would think I will need to put it into that way, right? Just like that. Place you inside of there. And then I want you to spit out that way. There we go. One for one. Like so. Cool. We've set our little first automation thing up. It's only going into a big massive storage bin. But at the end of the day, we have movement. Um, I'm trying to think. I need to work out how the power works in this. Uh, and that's just going to be a bit of a learning curve on how we work with that. And we can see that going into here now. And that is a lot of storage space. Uh, I don't see anything regarding um, blocking these. Um, so we don't actually uh, fill up this up with iron. So I don't think right as of right now, we can unassign these to actually not be filled up. Um, which is noted. What I need to figure out, like I was trying to figure out earlier, is I need to actually get the smelters up and running. And I've had a look into here, and I'm not seeing anything regarding smelters. So, like I said, we might need to go out and do a bit of exploring. But I don't know where to start, because I am seeing that this needs to be scanned. And this right here is actually a, a, a what's it called? A smelter, right? See, as you can see in the bottom left, it says smelter fragment. So... I need to scan this, but the next question is, is where do I get the scanner from? So, I don't know. Let's have a look up here. Scan with that. That's a mole fragment, and the mole fragment is actually um, the thing that terraforms. You, you might have seen it in the in the trailer when it puts like a big, massive, like, uh, three by three grid, and you can actually dig a tunnel and stuff. Uh, and this is what's provided us with power, I'm guessing. Oh, I found the scanner. It's literally right here on the desk. God damn it. Wait, so now I can analyze this smelter stuff. There we go. All right. I've got all rid of them now. So that means if we go into here, we can see smelter. So if we select that, hold to activate. And there we go. It's now been added to the production tab. So let's build one of these. It has got a, like a very much like factorial style build here. Uh, and obviously the, the bigger the machines, the, the more items it's going to take. So you can handcraft. It's just going to take a while. So the smelters are actually pretty small. Um... And what I'm going to do now is I want to figure out how much they're going to need to take per minute. But if I hold F, it actually allows me to erase, which is what I'm going to do right there. Erase that one as well. And I want to bring out this bad boy. And I want to put this like along here. And we're going to get two, it two items going in. Okay, so this requires um, plants as well. So I do need to go and grab some more. Your next step is to connect them with a the conveyor. Yes, I'm already doing that, you spoon. What do you mean? So, I want that to go into there. I want that to go into there. And then we're going to get another one to spit out here as well. So, let's quickly grab some more plant matter. That's where I actually come from. Put you into the machine. Get you being done. And then, how are you per minute? It doesn't stay on anything per minute. But by the look of that and the input rate of this... Since we don't know the speed of the belts, 
raw materials and put 25 seconds must be automated transportation of items must be used into the uh, from the machines okay so let's make a couple more smelters and i've noticed this isn't really doing much because he's holding that because he's putting one in there right so we only need, technically need one input one inserter well let's put down another smelter bring our belt down here and then let's attach a inserter into there let's get two again grab more of the plant matter which we've got quite a bit of now put you into there top that one up as well and it does look like it, the smelter actually only holds 15 iron ingots per well per each smelter and then we're going to put that down like that. So the insert is just feeding directly straight into the uh, storage. So we actually don't need a conveyor belt in there right now. It's probably not going to be efficient enough, but science, we need to test the works, as you know. And then we need to do what we've done here for the copper as well. And there we go. We have now got the copper set up. We've got one drill just going along a conveyor belt. Then going into the two smelters here, then into storage. But I've been coming across a little bit of a problem. I don't know if this is going to be for later on. But these rocks right here, we can't remove. So I definitely need to find out how to get foundations. Because obviously, build on foundations. Because I'm having to go around this. And then items do clip through these rocks. So if I was to put a belt from there to there, it actually clips through it. But I do now have a lot of copper ingots. Let's just grab all of them. Grab a lot of the iron ones. And then run over here. Run, of course. Uh, oh, this actually has inputs here. I did not notice that. And then we need to then just kind of put all you in there. And then send off. Boom. Maximum upgrade level. Okay, so we've reached the maximum. We've upgraded this PT as much as we can. The radio works now. But only for incoming transmissions. And the signal it gives you probably won't be one we can get to with a pickaxe. A mole terrain manipulator should be able to cut through, but we still need to find enough fragments of one to unlock the Ah, tool. wait, wait, where's my scanner? You might want to look around for some echo sketch fragments. We found one up here. Never hurts to see where you're going. There we go. So we need to find three. Um, so we need to find three fragments. So it's time to actually go and ex. Explore. So let's go down here first. And. Ooh. Hello. Now, this is quite interesting. System online. Small fragments. Hello. Um, an echo, e echo sketch fragment. And then. Oh, and another one. There we go. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. We've now got. The mall. I can't inspect this laptop. That's the last mall fragment, Breaker. Don't forget, you'll need to activate it in your tech tree before attempting to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got mining drill speed. Ah, okay, so we can actually um upgrade the drill speed. That's actually going to be useful. Uh, we've got the mall. So let's. Activate that. Mole terraforming speed. Mole flattener. Um, and can we get this one as well? I don't think we can. I've activated that one. Wait, available. I need six, 16 for that one. So I need more cores. Wait. There may be a lot I still can't remember, but the mole is unforgettable. Identified. Lima sector manufacturing orders. All files corrupted. Typical. All files corrupted. Identify. Lima sector manufacturing orders. All files corrupted. Access terminal. This is one of our Inspect. control modules. At least it was. Whatever it was controlling is long gone. Not much point to it now. Everything we had was built from pieces of the tunneler we came down in. The Excalibur. By the time it got this deep, all the best stuff was gone. The it Excalibur. Anyway. If my crew left this here, they were headed somewhere they didn't need it. Oh, there's more copper over there. See no material containers. 
No contest detected. That's a lot more copper. I should have originally used this one because this has got a nice little flat space here. We won't be able to make our way to another production terminal until you build a hole. Please make it a priority. Oh, okay. So there's more than one production terminal. So we got to find multiple. Uh, so we need a mole to get. Uh, yes. Okay. So, okay. So in equipment, we can see under terrain manipulation, we've actually got the mole now. So let's craft this. I don't know if it's going to need any juice, though. Wait. I, oh, my God. Have we had... Oh, my God. We have, haven't we? We've had floor power floors this whole time. And just me being an idiot, just not... Uh, God damn it, bits. You need to be more observant. But anyway, we have this bad boy. What? That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. Get an extra limestone as well. And this is how we can extend our production. Oh, we can see heat 26. Oh, so there's a, there's a cooldown. Cool. Right, so that how this could take a little bit of time to get used to. So you actually get everything lined up. Or don't. Okay, I think we kind of did it. So, this right here as well. These are the little core things, right? But, yeah, production core red. And we have, what, four? Yeah, we have 16. And I think we need to make more of these to actually unlock more stuff in the tech tree. But it's saying now I need to unlock the the Etch-A-Sketcher thing. Whoa, the, I didn't see these as well. Ha! Huh? Transportation. Hover pack. Ha! Huh? Suit speed. Energy, science, e uh, echo sketch, etch a sketch. Let's activate that. And what does this actually do? So, sonar map tool can identify cave structures up to 50 meters away. Let's get that built. Oh, so it's put like a little map in my hand. Wait, use it? <gasps> okay. So we can see where other terrain is. So we can actually dig through it. So if I was to basically go down here um and then i'm on this level because the level you're on actually glows orange and then i go up to this wall grab my mole whoa and now i'm in another area right let me pull out my thing again so if we go this way this time I never got there we the go. chance to thank you for getting me out of there. I appreciate it. I'm so glad there's not like the any I hostiles in here. Was focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. You know, like scarabs or like... For both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I'm terrified. It will be good to see some friendly faces. Twinkling and lights. A few thousand twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there. Hello? Too. Oh. Hi there. So here's another terminal. Plant life. A bigger room. Water. Oh, this is actually pretty. I'm I'm impressed. I am like I love these plants and like the tr uh, like the twinkling lights up here. So that means I can get rid of the biomass and yeah, what, can we do anything with the water? Okay, there's no sound effects for that yet, or no physics, so maybe soon TM. But oh, this is really nice. Like, we can just do a whole... There's lily pads. I don't think there's any, um, like, mobs. Or, if I'm not mistaken, they're not going to bring mobs, but we can gather these, and it's just plant matter. So it'd be nice if maybe there is some friendly... Like, what's this? Um, Like, mobs? Like, some frogs and stuff? Or whatever's down here. What is this? Is this a lamppost? It is a lamppost. Hello? I can scan it. Wait, if I scan this, does... Wait, where's me little... Um, you. Can I put you on the bar? Put you on there. Scan this. Ah, 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 ah. So it's very much like Subnautica. You have to actually go around, find them... What, water generators as well. Okay, there's water power. Okay, cool. 
coal, coal, coal. What's this? A hover pack. Okay, so cool. So yeah, it's very much like Subnautica how we have to go and explore to actually unlock new stuff. And I do remember uh, that being said when I was speaking with the uh, developers. We do, and it, it doesn't force us into a direction. You kind of have to go and find it for yourself. What's this? A thresher. A thresher. And a planter. Oh! Wait! So we can grow our own... Oh, so we can automate biomass? Well, plant, plant, plant life. Well, plant matter. Um, cool. So that means I can then basically... Put our machines down and then do like long inserters. Oh, hello. These are the things, right? Memory cores. You can't continue to activate new things on the tech tree without more memory cores. Try placing tool belt as well. Interesting. Interesting. This game, like I said, is very early alpha. So if you've got any questions. Uh, for the developers or anything, please put it in the comments, um, and I will make sure they uh, they can get to, get to read them if you want any feedback, all that kind of stuff. So, accumulated capacity as well. I'm just kind of going around scanning everything here. What's this? Oh, this is copper. So there is going to be more ores as well, but I believe just in the alpha, there's going to be iron and copper. Um, and then later down the line, they are going to bring in like more and more um, stuff. But like I said, again, early alpha. Um, but yeah. So we've got a little bit of a basic automation set up. And the game does look pretty. And it's not so bad for alpha. There's obviously there's a lot more stuff we can do. But we are going to do that in another video. So guys, check out these other playlists here if you are interested in other content I do. And obviously remember to like and subscribe. But also remember to leave a comment if you want to ask the developers. I will probably be sure that they might check it out. So they might get uh, get back to you. So as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video. Because I need to go and rest my voice. Because it's killing me right now. And it's like I've got razor blades in my throat. But guys, first love. Bye-bye.